Software engineering is not what I thought it'd be. So I'm doing an information systems engineering degree at Johns Hopkins University. Now in that degree, there are different tracks that you can take. And the one I decided to take was software engineering, actually thinking that would be the most challenging and technical. And what I found was very much unexpected. So where I thought we would be doing a lot of programming and coding, and I was really ready to have some late nights and almost lose my mind because that's also what I do during the day, that's not at all what I found. Instead, we start with things called use cases. Now, use cases are something I'm familiar with from my job. I didn't really touch on it in my bachelor's degree that much, but I got to know them through experience. And while I understand they're very important, I also don't find them to be the most enjoyable or interesting part of the development process. They're basically part of the requirements process where you're gathering requirements from the person that you're writing the application for and then you put them into what we call use cases. Now, there are a lot of different ways of doing this and a lot of kind of offshoots or different flavors of use cases where there's just different ways to document this stuff. What you're basically trying to do is figure out what each user will do, write a story about it, and then eventually you're gonna break that down into actual technical requirements. Now, while I'm familiar with it at this point, when I hear the word software engineer, I don't really think about writing use cases. I always thought of that to be more of a business analyst thing, uh, but that is a part of software engineering. Now, after that, you will eventually go on to write these different diagrams. Now, these diagrams are in what's called UML, and UML is a standard for the rules of how to write these things. Think of it like syntax in a programming language. Now, here's the difference. In a programming language, if you break the syntax, nothing works. You can easily break the syntax in UML and keep going and be none the wiser unless someone corrects you, I guess. Now these diagrams, there's not just one of them, there's several different that you go through, and each of them describes its own kind of thing, its own, has its own purpose as to what it's trying to show. And while these are not terrible to write, I don't enjoy doing these as much as I actually just like coding. Now, what I like to do, which is just jump right into the code, is what the professors say you really shouldn't do. But in reality, it is what happens, and it's not just me doing it where I work. It seems to be um, everyone. Now, here's the thing. We do write diagrams at work, but we don't ever follow any strict protocol or standard. We just write them on whiteboards, and we generally can understand what each other's saying, and if we don't, we can ask each other for clarification. Now, I'm not saying that I dislike these classes, but I'm not finding them to be what I expect them to be. And honestly, I'm not enjoying myself with the specific things that I'm doing. And maybe that should have been to be expected because I love programming and I highly doubt I'm gonna enjoy anything quite as much as that. But in these classes, I have not written so much as one line of code. Now. That's not to say I don't have to understand code because to write these diagrams and to look at these diagrams, you do have to understand how programming works and actually have a pretty good understanding of it. And beyond that, you will be shown examples of code and you will need to be able to read that code to really understand it you know, to the end. So it's not like programming isn't involved, but you're not really doing a lot of programming. And I think programming is the part that I really enjoy because you actually get to see the thing work. What we do here, we're given a premise, we you know, create use cases, maybe take requirements, and we work it through to drawing these diagrams, but it starts as something that's not real, and it ends as something that's equally not as real. And I think maybe that's why I'm sort of not enjoying it as much as I thought I would. Now, I'm almost finished with, you know, I've almost done enough classes in the software engineering track to where I can try some from the other tracks. And I have done that, you know, a bit so far because I was sort of required to. And I've enjoyed, you know, at least the security part of it. I can definitely say uh, I, I enjoyed that, actually, I'd say to a pretty high degree, even though it was a ton of writing. Now, for anyone interested in software engineering, I'm not trying to dissuade you from doing it because there is a legitimate purpose in it. And I understand why it's more necessary if I were to be working on 
say, larger applications. Say, instead of just writing something for a relatively small group of people, I was writing a very large application that would be used in a lot of different places, then I could see why it would make more sense to take more time at these stages where we're just drawing things out. But where I work, I actually wear all of these hats sometimes, where I will be responsible for taking requirements and then drawing out the diagrams and then writing the program. So I actually like that, but I like it as a whole package when it's just taking, you know, requirements, drawing use cases, and then, you know, moving on to write these diagrams and then not moving on beyond that. I find it hard to really enjoy. Not to say anything bad about the program or the professors, they've been good. It's just not what I expected it to be.